roads, the main roads that goes off from Big Bear, which we have seen several times over the past week going down toward uh, Southern California, toward Riverside. And there are reports now, a couple of different reports, that there was either a home invasion or a suspect that the L.A. Times is now saying is, in fact, Christopher Dorner, actually tied a woman up or a couple up and then stole their white Ford truck or their white Dodge truck and fled. Then there were reports that fish and game authorities actually spotted that truck and that gunfire was exchanged. It's very unclear at this point in time, Neil, if anybody was hit in that exchange. We're listening to scanner traffic. The scanner traffic is, is somewhat, um, it's somewhat confusing, so we don't want to go there just yet. But we do know that apparently they were chasing a suspect on foot. Now, there were reports they might have had somebody in custody, and they are now kind of backing off of those reports. But in the past 15 or 20 minutes, we have been hearing this ongoing traffic about now authorities kind of converging on this one area on Big Bear Mountain. And those who don't know the backstory know that for the past five days, authorities have been just flooding that mountain trying to find Christopher Dorner, who shot a young couple and then shot three police officers, killing one of them. And they believe now, says the L.A. Times, that they do have Christopher Dorner either on the run or he is blocked out, or in some cases they're reporting he's already in custody. We're trying to find out the various sources. There's no confirmation yet from any police authority. We are in contact with LAPD as well as the San Bernardino Sheriff's Office trying to figure this whole thing out, Neil. But, but the reports are that Christopher Dorner is at the very least, as the L.A. Times, cornered or at least has been spotted in the past 10 to 15 minutes, Neil. Well, this couple you talked about uh, tied up at a cabin, one of them was able, I guess, to break away and make the call. Uh, do you know their status? Yeah, and that's the whole thing is th this is the couple. I mean, just to kind of take you through this chronologically, you had Christopher Dorner who put out this manifesto, Neil, and, and the young couple, the woman, was the daughter of the lawyer who actually defended uh, Christopher Dorner at this police board hearing that ultimately led to him getting fired. Her fiancé was the other person who was murdered in Irvine, which is about uh, 30 miles away from where the police officers were actually shot uh, about three days later. And then when this manifesto went public, police started converging because he named names of the LAPD officers. Police officers started going out and protecting all of these, quote, targets. And that's when Christopher Dorner came upon one of those so-called targets. LAPD pulled him over. He got out of the car and then opened fire on them. He then fled, and 15 minutes later, that's when he shot and killed a Riverside police officer, shot and wounded another police officer, and then fled. Now, we also know that subsequent to that, he was seen in San Diego trying to steal a boat. He went from the boat, couldn't steal it because the, the rope got caught around the propeller. He went from that boat saying that he was going toward Mexico, and then there was uh, someone who found his wallet at the, the crossing between Tijuana and San Diego. And then, about nine hours later, is when his truck was spotted in Big Bear, and it was spotted at the home of one of the people who was named in his manifesto. That is the last time that Christopher Dorner uh, or anything about him was spotted until about 15 minutes ago, Neil, and now we're hearing that, in fact, they've got, uh, that there is, in fact, a shooting going on. We've got KTTV, uh, our Fox affiliate here in Los Angeles, en route, to the, en route with their helicopter. They should be arriving at, at any moment. In fact, we're going to try and switch over, Neil, so we can get on television because our window's up, and if you can kind of bear with us, we're going to get on absolutely, television and, talk absolutely. To you, and then talk to you that way. So just hold on for one second. All right, Trace, just to bring you up to speed here, we're talking about Chris Dorner, of course. This is the person believed to be the fugitive uh, ex-Los Angeles police that sought in these three killings, exchanging gunfire with authorities at the San Bernardino Mountains uh, today. Law enforcement uh, was speaking about this on condition of anonymity, but another official said the reporting party identified the suspect as looking like Christopher Dorner. That doesn't mean it is necessary.